I'm going to take you guys through an hour-long bar class. Um, basically, what you're going to need is a chair. I have a portable bar. I don't think any of you have these at home. But if you do, <laughs> you can grab your portable bar. If not, you can just use a chair or even a counter. If you don't have any chairs handy. Then we're also going to be using a set of hand weights. If you have some really light hand weights, those are going to work the best for you. Um, one to four pounds is, is a pretty big range. If you don't have hand weights, you can grab two soup cans. Those are about a pound each. Um, so that's a really good kind of cheap for if you don't have some hand weights around. And then we're also going to be using a mat. So you want to make sure you have a mat. That's for core work at the end. So if you don't happen to have a mat, as long as you're laying on a carpet, um, that's going to be better than wood. Bar is set to a beat. So I have my playlist on in the background very quiet. If you want to search for it um, on Spotify, my name's Elisa Presto. And this playlist in particular is Bar or Spring Bar 2020. Although there's a ton of bar playlists, it doesn't really matter which one you listen to as long as the BPMs are between 120 and 130. Um, that's pretty much what this is going to be set to. So find yourself a playlist, um, follow the beat. So like I said, the whole class is set to a beat. If you need to take breaks, take breaks. Make sure you have some water near you. Um, it is pretty fast paced. It goes pretty quick. Um, I'll give a lot of cues, a lot of kind of variations on poses to make it either harder or easier. Um, so yeah, it should be fun. All right, so we're gonna start away from the bar, away from the chair. You wanna find a little bit of an open area for yourself. We're gonna start with our arms stacked on top of one another. So hand on top of the elbow, hand underneath the elbow. We're gonna start by lifting our knees. So you're lifting one knee, pointing down towards the foot with the toes. Your goal here is to keep your belly nice and flat. So you're not curving forward as you lift your knee. You're lifting that knee nice and high. We're alternating legs, so here we go. Lift and lift, lift and lift. Good, lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift, lift and lift. Good, we're gonna open those arms. Beautiful, lift and lift, lift and lift. Add in the arm, pull down. So we're gonna pull down, pull down, pull down, pull down. Pull, 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 pull. pull. Good, really keep that core tight. So we're keeping that back nice and straight. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, good, pull, pull, pull. Step those knees high, good. Now we're gonna start to turn our trunk to the side, activating our oblique abs. So you're pulling to the side, pulling to the side, pulling to the side, pull to the side. Pull and pull, pull and pull, good. Pull and pull, 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 pull. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Now we're gonna step it out for our second position. So second position, toes are turned out, facing away from the body. We're gonna sink down into the knees, palms face in towards the chest, dropping the shoulders down. So second position, knees are pushing out away from the body. Pulsing lower, 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 lower. So pulse. Or bending into the knees and bow. 
Good. So nice bend of knees, nice flat back. Then we're bringing hands down, lift, lower, lift. So alternate sides, lift, lower, 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 four, lower, three, lower, two, lower, and one, lower. Good. Stand it up. Bring them all the way down for a plank pose. So we're setting ourselves up for a plank, warming up our arms. So for this one, we're going to bring our knees down to the floor so we're going up towards the sky. So you can come onto the carpet or onto your mat if you'd like. You can know that the knees have a little bit of a sore spot on. We're going to do our mini push ups. So mini push ups are only going down through the last couple inches of your range of motion. So you're going to start yourself off on a bent elbow. And then we're pulsing down and down. Pulse lower, 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 lower. Pulse, 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 pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Straighten those arms. We're going to bring our hands together and triceps. So, holding our elbows straight back, we're we'll pulsing lower, 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 and eight. Down, 
shake out those thighs. Right hand comes back on that bar, left hand in front of the chest. Heels back to the toes facing out the first position. So we're going to come into our curtsy and points here. So if you're curtsy, you're bending your left knee. Right leg, sorry, bending your right leg. Left leg comes behind you. Toes point in towards your chair. We're activating those quad muscles in that right leg, activating the core muscles to keep those hips stable. So we're not dropping our hips, dropping our shoulder. We're keeping those shoulders lifted, keeping those hips in line. For our point, you're straightening the right leg, toes point on the left side, activating the quad on that left thigh. So, curtsy, point, curtsy, point, curtsy, point, curtsy, point, curtsy, point, curtsy, point. Adding the arm movement. You can do one arm or both. Curtsy, point, curtsy, point, curtsy, point, curtsy, point, curtsy, point, four, point, three, point, two, point, one, holding point. So that left side is nice and active. We're going to do our lift and lower, lift and lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. You're not kicking the leg, bringing your core. Lift, lower. Nice long spine, you're not curving over. Don't curve over that belly. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Control the movement so you're not kicking the leg. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Back to first. Good. We're going to come down to plie, both hands to first position. So both Hands in front of that chest, plie, remember, so bones tucked. Knees are open, knees follow those toes. Pulse down and down. Lower, 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 lower. So lower, lower. Four, three, two, one. So stay low, lift the heels. So the rest of the body doesn't come up. You absorb that heel movement in the knees. So we're high on those two toes, as high as you can get. Knees open out. So remember, knees are following those toes. Shoulders drop down, belly button hug you nice and tight. Good. So we're reaching up for a second, across. Up for a second, across. Up, across. Good. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. So really activating those core muscles. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Heels can come down if those ankles are starting to get tired. And four. Good. Three. Find that breath. Two. Last set. Last one. Over. Lift. Over. Good. Center now. Straighten those legs. Shake them out. Good. So now we're turning around. Left hand on that bar or on that chair. First position to start, the so heels together, toes turned out. Remember, we're squeezing those thighs together, create that nice center around the body. So squeeze those thighs, tuck that tailbone back to the back forward with that tailbone tuck. So remember, your tailbone tuck is a hip push. You're thinking about actually moving your tailbone. So you're moving that little sacrum, that little triangle going to the base of your spine. Plie, remember, hip stays tucked for your plie. You're not dropping those hips up behind you for a squat. So, Plie, lift, plie, lift, plie, lift. Heels stay down. Good. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Both hands can come off if you like. Same speed down, same speed up. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Knees open over those toes. Good. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Shoulders back, chest open, nice long neck. Lower, lift, we have eight, lift, seven, lift, six, lift, five, lift, four, lift, three, lift, two, lift, and one, lift. Good. Top up one more leg. So those here, heels are still together, toes are still turned out. Squeeze those thighs. Think about squeezing all through that center line. Arms can both come up just a second. You can always bring that left hand back down to the bar or the chair for pull or for a little help on that balance. Hold down with both arms up for a second. So a couple of deep breaths. Really reconnect that breath. Straighten the spine. Think about tucking that tailbone, keeping those hips engaged. 
the floor and then lift back up. A couple things to watch for here. When you're lowering, you're not curving your spine. So we want to keep our spine nice and straight. That also means that if you can't quite get to the floor with a flat back, you're not going to go all the way to the floor. You're only going as far as you can with that spine nice and straight. So when you lift, you also want to make sure you're not kicking up. So you're not kicking up and lifting your head and lifting your chest. You're using that nice, long muscle to lift all the way up. So both hands on that bar right in front of the face. Gentle bend in the left knee. Good. Full leg lifts and lowers. Lower and lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Good. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Nice. Ten. Lift. Nine. Lift. Eight. Lift. Seven, lift, six, lift, five, lift, four, lift, three, lift, two, lift, and one, lift. Good. All the way down. Stand it up. Shake up those legs. Turn it. Or you guys aren't turning. You're facing your chair. I'm turning because I can be second to you. So you're still in that nice 93 bend. Hips level. Back level. Gentle bend in the knees. This time we're lifting that left leg straight back. So left toes are pointing straight back to the floor with the hand. Chest is parallel to the ground. Engage the core, so we're pulling that belly button up towards the spine. Nice. So that left leg is lifted right. Gentle bend in that knee. Both arms on that bar. Pull the lifts and lowers. Here we go. And lower. Lift. Lower. Lift. Same things here. Same speed up. Same speed down. You're not kicking the leg. You're not curving the spine. Really engage that core. Four. And three. Good. Two. And one. Lift up. Nice. Both legs down. Let that hands come off the chair. Nice round. Fold forwards. Nice. Take it straight from the legs. Let that head hang. Lift, 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 eight, seven, 
Lower, use your glute on your spine. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Good. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Get eight. Lift. Seven. Lift. Six. Lift. Five. Lift. Good. Four. Take deep. Three. Lift. Two. Lift. And one. Lift. Beautiful. Step it down. Shake out those legs. Grab a quick push stretch both sides. Really enjoy that stretch. Get that spine relax here. Good job. Make sure you grab water if you need water. And then find that nice stretch. So really that spine relax here. All the leg lifts and lowers, meaning that little back to that hip connection usually gets a little tight, even if we're doing them really correctly and not using the spine to lift. A lot of times it's still going to do a little bit of residual lifting for us. You know, that's going to relax. We bend the knee. Stretch the side. Good. Nice. We're going to roll it up. Grab those weights or those soup cans or cava. Some nice light weights. We're not doing anything super heavy. So for this one, you're going to step away from that chair again. So we're a little bit of open space. We're going to step into a second position. So second position, toes are facing out, heels are facing in. We're going to come down, both hands in front of us at first. So both those soup cans, both those weights are going to be grabbed. Now if that's a little too heavy for you, you can bring just one weight or just one soup can. Give the weight, you're going to hold it by the barbells. If you have a soup can, you're just going to hug it right between those hands. So. Either one weight or both weights, arms right in front of the chest, hips nice and low, good, tailbone tucked here, nice. So for this one, we're coming, twist, activate those obliques, back to center, twist, center, twist, center, twist, center, good, twist, center, twist, center, twist, center, twist, center. So you're really trying to twist those arms. Reach back with that elbow. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Hands are going to gently reach down. So we're still at those hands rest. So now you want to grab those two soup cans so you're not awkwardly weighting one side heavier. So you want two weights or two soup cans, one in each hand. And then we're just going to pulse down in that second position. So we're pulsing lower and low. Pulse lower and low. Pulse lower and low. Lower and lower. So we want those pulses to have the most, or the longest time in the bottom half of that pulse. So if you watch, I'm barely coming up. So pulse down, pulse down, pulse down, pulse, pulse, pulse. Good. Four, three, two, one. Nice. Straighten those legs. We're going to reach forwards from the hips. Arms are going to come up. Parallel to the floor, elbows bent at 90. So we're having a nice gentle bend of those knees. We're going to drop the arms, curve in, so elbows are pointing straight up from the shoulders, and then lift. Okay? So drop, lift, drop, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, four, lift, three, lift, two, lift, one, lift. Beautiful. Bend back into those knees. Both arms in front for that first position. Good. So for this one, we're going to pulse down, lift, kick. So pulse down, lift, kick. Good. Pulse, pulse, lift, lift. Pulse, pulse, lift, lift. Pulse, pulse, lift, lift. Good. Pulse, pulse. Lift, lift, pulse, pulse, lift, lift. Nice. We're gonna sit. We're gonna do these for a while. So if we feel a little too heavy, we can always come down. Good. Lift, lift. So pulse, pulse, triceps, triceps. Pulse, pulse. Good. Straight back, straight back. Pulse, pulse. Glute and triceps, glute and triceps. Legs, legs. Good. Pulse, 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 pulse. Good. Lower, lower, pulse, pulse. Good. Lower, lower, pulse, pulse. Four. Pulse, pulse. 
three, good, pulse, pulse, two, pulse, pulse, and one, good, pulse, pulse. Hold it down a second, arms into that first position. Make sure those knees are staying open, following those toes. Good. Arms are going to come straight up with those weights. Shoulders drop down. Good. Nice gentle grip. We're lowering out for two, up for two. Lower, two, lift, two. So lower, two, lift, two. Good. Lower, two, lift, two. So keep that rib cage in. Lift, two. Lower, two, lift, two. Shoulders stay down. So we're not reaching up with our shoulders. We're keeping our shoulders down. Good. Lift, two, lower, two. Hug that core and lift, two, lower, two. Nice job. Lift, two, lower, two. We got six, up, lower, two, five, up, lower, two, four, up, lower, two, one, up, lower, two, good, up, and lower, two, last two, lift, up, lower, down, last one, lift, and last one, down, good, hands rest, pulsing in that plie again, so same thing, tailbone stays tucked, really use that core, so really think about your core more than your glutes for your plies, okay, hands rest down, so that weight is going straight down with us, and pulse, 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 good, so we're thinking, pulse, hold, pulse, squeeze, pulse, hold, pulse, squeeze, good, weight through those feet, all the way through, pulse, pulse, shoulders back, pulse, 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 good, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift, Nice, turn those toes forwards. So toes come forwards. We're folding in half. Arms come out. So for this one, most of us are probably gonna have to drop our weights after a couple, just because this is a set of muscles that we rarely use. So we wanna come out, nice wing span. Then we're looking up and up. So squeeze and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. So remember, when weights or soup, or soup cans can come down, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nice, we're gonna roll it down, nice stretch here. So wide like a forward pull. Make sure you're enjoying that stretch down the back side of those thighs. Nice breath. Good. So we're gonna grab those weights if you let them go. Sink into the knees. Lift it up, sumo squat. So sumo squat's one of our other poses that we throw in. So toes are still facing forwards. A lot of people train chi by turning your toes out. So sumo squat, we want those toes to point forwards. Knees are facing forwards, chest is nice and lifted. So from the side, we have our hips going straight back up behind us. Head and chest are lifted. Good. So we're lifting up, explode with the arms, lower. Good. So lift, explode. Lower, nice two count. Up, two, lower, two. Lift, two, lower, two. Good, lift, two, lower, two. Nice, lift, two, lower, two. Lift, two, lower, two. Last two, slow, lower, two. Last one, slow, lower, full speed. Lift, lower, lift, lower, good, lift. Lower, feel that knee, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, nice, lift, lower, explode those arms, push those weights, up, lower, good, lift, lower, lift, lower, nice, ten, nine, find that breath, eight, seven, good, six, dig deep, last five, and four, good, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, guys. Knees are going to come to the side in. Come back to our chair or back to our bar. So we're standing in that nice first position. Toes pointed out, heels together. 
thighs squeezing actively towards each other. Right hand standing on your chair. Left hand from the chest. Good. So we're lifting right leg up. So we're going for our attitude pose. Attitude pose, we're rotating our thigh going inside of our hip socket. Inside of the foot facing the ceiling. Good. We'll see that. Up. Good leg. Lift. Think about inner thigh moving. Nice. And you stay bent at the exact same angle. You're not straightening your knee. You're not bending your knee more. Lift. Lift. Good lift. Lift. Find that breath. Nice. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Transfer to reverse. So reverse attitude. Same thing. It's kind of like a curtsy, except that that left leg is straight, and you're pushing straight back and engaging your core. So you're not moving forward, so you straight back. You're pushing, pushing, push, push. Knee stays going to the exact same angle. Push, push. Move your full leg, not just your foot. It's super easy to move your foot here. Push, push. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, good. That leg set down. Nice. Then we're going to lift that right leg straight. Toes point forward, hips face forward, core tucked in. Good. So we're doing tap, tap, lift, tap, tap, lift, tap, tap, lift, tap, tap, lift. Good. Tap, tap, lift, tap, tap, lift. Four, lift, three, lift. Two, lift, one, lift. Good. Switch side. Pull up on that bar. Same thing, starting in your first position. Thighs are squeezing. Remember to grab water to keep water right in front of the chest. We're starting with that left foot attitude. So inside of the thigh, or inside of the foot, piece of the ceiling. Think about rotating that thigh bone. So you're not dropping your hip to rotate. You're lifting both those hips. Chest faces forwards. When we're pulsing up, we're not leaning forward to our chest, right? So we're lifting nice and tall, keeping the body lifted, lifting the inner thigh, and quad. Lift, 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 lift. Good, lift, 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 lift. Nice, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reverse attitude. So right leg sinks straight. Remember, we're pushing full legs straight back. So you're not straightening your knee. You're not just flying your foot back and forth. You're actually pushing straight back. Push, 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 push. So find that glute. Push, push, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Straight in front. So we're lifting. Tap, tap, lift. Tap, tap, lift. Straight leg, tap, tap, lift. Tap, tap, don't hold. Lift, good. Tap, tap, lift. Tap, tap, lift. Tap, tap, lift. Three, lift. Two, lift. One, lift. Good. Shake out those thighs. Grab a quad stretch. So we're folding that heel up towards the glute. Nice quad stretch. We always want to make sure we're stretching our muscles throughout the class so if you ever feel like you need to grab a stretch. And I'm not doing it. Feel like you can do that. Both sides, make sure you get both legs. Find that breath. Good. Mm. Nice. All right, coming back down on our shoulder those legs. We're going to grab those two hands and release again. So for this one, we're going to start with feet a little bit outside of our hips, not a ton. Toes are faced forwards, so we're not in a second position. Toes are facing straight forwards. So for this one, we're going to set down into a little tiny single squat and then lift straight in the leg. Good. So you're setting, straighten, setting, straighten, set, straighten, set, straighten. So you're setting, So you use that glute, lift, set, lift, good, set, lift. We're gonna add those arms, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. So let's test our balance, because we have to be able to hold that leg up. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, use your glute 
to lift, lower, lift, nice, lower, lift, engage the core as you switch sides. So lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Try to keep those arms parallel to the floor when you extend. Good, lower, hold, lower, hold, lower, lift, lower, lift, nice, four, good, three, two, and one, nice, hold it low, so remember, not a single squat, just kind of a half single squat, but we're still thinking about sending those hips down and back, chest lifted, head lifted, good, and pulse, 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 think pulse, pull, pulse, squeeze, so that bottom is the longest part, pulse, pull, pulse, squeeze, pulse, pull, pulse, squeeze, good, Find that breath, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good. Hands are going to reach down, nice stretch, let the head hang. Good. So we're going to grab one of our weights. So weights in the right hand, left hand reaches for the right ankle, right hand reaches up. Good. So we're pushing higher, higher, push high, higher, higher, higher. So extend that shoulder, lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, nice and slow, with control all the way down. Now it's our left hand, right hand reaches over left ankle. Press it up. Good. Press, 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 press. High, 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 high. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Come back down. We're going to grab both of those weights again. Bend the knees. Good, lift up. So we're going to find our high lunge. Right foot forwards, left foot back, hips face front. Good. So we're going to press down, 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 both knees bent. Lower, lower, lower. Good, lower, 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 lower. We got six, five, four, three, two, one, switch to curtsy. So curtsy, curtsy lunge, excuse me. So curtsy lunge, right toes are feet slightly out now, left toes are turned slightly out, hips are facing forwards. Good. So right hand up, left hand down. Nice. So we're thinking lower in the knees, lower drop, left shoulder. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, good, lower. Lift the point where we reach with that right hand you can. I add some weight. So make sure you're paying attention to how much weight you can handle. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Good, lower, lift, lower, lift. We can set down that right hand weight if we want to. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Good, lower, lift, lower, lift, and four. Lift, three. Lift, two, lift, and one, lift. Good, switching sides. So left foot forwards, right foot back. Hips facing center. Go ahead. So, <clears throat> hands just at those shoulders to start. Bending into both knees. Pulse down, down. Good, pulse, 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 pulse. Good, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step behind for curtsy squat, or sorry, curtsy lunge. So, left toes turn a little bit further outside, right toes are facing in. <clears throat> left hand goes up, right hand goes down. So, we're bending into the knees, right hand drops, left hand reaches if you can handle that. If not, we can set that left weight down and then you're reaching body weight over. So you can try starting with that weight, see how long you can make it, and then maybe if you need to, you can set that weight down. So we're thinking lower, lift, 
Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Good, lower, lift. Weight through both the feet. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Good. Eight, seven, six. Nice, five, four, find your breath. Three, two, nice, and one. Good. So we're gonna just use our weights now. You're gonna get your mat out so that it's ready for you when you need it. So we use our mat for mostly core work towards the end. So we're gonna roll that out right now. Starting with those hands, one weight in each hand or one soup can in each hand. We're gonna stand a little bit wider than the distance. Hands are gonna start right at those shoulders. Good. Lift, bend, straight out, and good. Lift, bend, straight out, bend. Lift, bend, straight out, bend. So what we wanna watch for when we're doing our arms is that we're not sinking our hips forwards, we're sinking our hips back. So stand nice and tall. Good, lift, bend, straight out, bend. Nice, lift, bend, straight out, bend. Four, bend, straight out, bend. Three, bend, straight out, bend. Two, bend, straight out, bend. And one, bend, straight out, bend. Nice. So bicep curls, we're gonna rest right at about 90. Now when we do our bicep curls, we want those elbows right in line with the ribs. So you're not forwards, you're not backwards. You're right in line with those ribs. So if you mirror, anywhere near you, I recommend looking at those. We're gonna start right below my knee, and then we're curling, lower. Curl, lower, good. Curl, lower, curl, lower. So we're purposely taking these a little slow. We wanna use the full bicep. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Good, lift, lower, lift, lower. And eight, lower, seven. Good, six, five, make sure that chest stays lifted. Nice, three, two, and one. Good. So a little bit wider than those hips. Straight arm hold. So for this one, if you have soup cans, I recommend holding them in your palms facing up. That way you don't have to try to hold onto them facing down because most people's hands aren't quite big enough to hold a soup can facing down. So if you want to rotate those palms up, hold the soup cans that way, that's a little nicer than holding them down. So straight arm hold is exactly what it sounds like. We're holding our arms nice straight. Try to keep those wrists parallel with the arms. So you're not letting your wrists drop, and you're also not arching those wrists up. So nice straight wrists, nice straight arms, gentle bend in the elbows, core tucked in, especially now when you want to support with those core muscles. So if you're doing palms up, let's go like this. Good. Nice deep breaths here. Holding is kind of counterintuitive because we don't feel like we get as much of a muscle kind of workout, then we do when we like move the muscles, but actually straight arm holds, because those muscles are elongated and still have them hold our arms and the weight up, they're actually in a contracted, elongated state. So you're getting a nice long contraction with that muscle right now. Keep that breath coming in and out, keep those hips gently tucked. Good, hold for four, three, two, one. Nice, release. Okay, so this time we're gonna bring arms straight up, Big circle down as we bend into those knees and lift up. Good. Big circle down, bend those knees, lift up. Nice. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Good. Lower and lift. Two more. Lower and lift. Last one. Lower and lift. Good. We're going to come down to that mat. So we're going to start with our core work. Now, for some of our core work, we're still going to use our weights, so you can still have those close to you. For starters, we're going to pop ourselves up into our boat pose. So boat pose, you're resting on your sacrum. Arms are out nice and wide. Good. So we're going to do an opposite arm, opposite leg like lengtheners. So we're taking our right hand, left leg, lower, good. And then crunching in, lift, lower, lift, lower. So you're crossing over, good, lower, lift. Lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. If you want to make it harder, both legs come down. 
So, knees next to about my knee. Try to flatten that spine. So, really pull that spine down and we'll get you over to the right. One, two, center, two, left, two, center, two, right, two, center, two, left, two, center, two, one, two, center, two, and one, two, center, two. Good, lower, two, lift, two, lower, two, lift, two. Now I'm gonna make it harder, you know, straighten those legs. Lift two, lower two, lift two, last set, one each side, lift two, less and lower two, lift two. Good, legs are gonna come down, legs straight up, right leg is gonna come all the way almost to the floor, hands are gonna reach up towards that left toe, and lift, 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 lift. So shoulders, neck, and head stay off the floor. You're reaching for those toes. Lift, 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 lift. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Good. And reach, 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 reach. Nice. Try to keep those head and shoulders lifted. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, don't hold your breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Hug those knees and gently rock side to side. Here we go, a couple stretches. So we're going to straighten up that right leg. Left leg goes all the way to the floor. Grab it behind the calf. Lift the head and chest. Nice hamstring stretch here. Now, if you want to bring the head back down to the floor, you're welcome to. Lifting that head and chest makes it usually a little bit easier for people who don't have quite as flexible hamstrings. So if you are in that bracket, you're wanting to lift that head and neck up. If you know you have crazy really flexible hamstrings, you can try to flatten out that whole spine. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, slowly release, and then we're going to bring that left leg up. So same thing here, reaching behind the calf or behind the knee with those hands. Lifting that head and chest up and off. Or keeping that back nice and flat. Really finding that hamstring stretch, relaxing the hip to get that hamstring stretch. Good. Find your breath here to relax the body with the breath. Nice. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly release. Good. We're going to pop on those legs. And we're going to bend up the knees. Feet go nice and wide. So the feet are almost to the outside edges of the mat. Knees are nice and wide. Arms are going to open to the T. Back's nice and flat, so these are our windshield wipers. So you're just going to gently drop both legs to one side. Ooh, a little rest there. Really let those hips turn off. So you want to let those hip muscles really sort of relax here. Let those hip joints really enjoy that movement. Windshield wipers are a really nice, gentle hip opener. Good. They're taking our thighs and our hip sockets through a little bit of a range of motion and we're letting them sit in that range of motion so that some of those tendons and muscles that kind of contain the hip structure can get a little bit of a stretch. So inhale to center, you use your core muscles to inhale and exhale, gently drop off to the side. So same thing here, we're really turning off the hip muscles, turning off the leg muscles, just letting those legs really kind of collapse and drop. Good, turning off those glutes. We'll do one more each side, so inhale back to center, and exhale to drop. Good. Same thing, really let those hip sockets kind of open up. Release that stretch. And then inhale to center, exhale to the side. Good. Turn those hips off. And back to the inhale, right 
head with the knees into the chest. Gently rock back and forth until you get all the way up into a seated position. Good. Then we're going to have our butterfly stretch. So butterfly soles of the feet come together, hands come to the front of the shins or front of the ankles, sitting nice and tall, both hips on the floor, and then fold it forwards. And our butterfly stretch, we're going to pulse. So we're pulsing down, down, down. Good. So pulsing into the hip socket, releasing the head, releasing the spine, nice relaxed back. Good. Coming back up, we find an easy seated pose to end. Big stretch up and exhale to the side, nice side stretch, and inhale up all the way over. So just a couple of those, feeling side to side. Just really letting those side bodies get stretched, moving the ribcage around those hips just a little bit. Good. Last one each side. Nice. Coming to center, both hands stretch up. Exhale, bubble lift. Good. One more. And exhale. Good. Feel silly at home, but give yourselves a round of applause. That's awesome. Good job, guys. Hopefully, we'll see you in person soon.